uh, one number. So it says here, I'll take, and you can take a minute to look at this. So it says one number is two more than three times another. Their sum is trying to find the numbers. So one number is two more, two more times another sum is 22 find numbers okay so take a minute to think about this and then we'll 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 reconvene and uh, look at the solution together and do our own solution as well Okay, so I hope you, you, you got a minute to kind of think about this question. This is an Algebra 1 class, a classic example of a, uh, uh, you're given a variable and you have to relate the variables together to solve for an equation. And that's kind of the, this concept of, a, this is a word problem, but we're using uh, kind of variables, uh, in this case, of the same variable, and we're solving for an equation here. So what I'm going to do for my solution here is I'm going to approach um, this using a let statement. So one number is two more times another, or three, two more than three times oh my god two more two more than that's crucial three times another sorry I, I i wrote this question wrong one number is two more than three times another sum is 22 find the numbers okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say let i'm gonna say let x be uh be the first number be for because there, there's two numbers right two more times the other right first number and then what we're gonna do is that we have to create an algebraic expression to express this kind of word statement here it says one number is two more than three times another so when we say two more than three times we have to say that let so let two more than three times a number we have to say three times another would be three x and then so three times x and then two more than three times would be plus two right? I'm adding two right two more right let three x plus two be a second number here so now we have our two numbers and what what this tells us is that what we can do is we can relate those two together and we can say that um, our uh, our sum is 22 right so these two these two values here I'm gonna do this in blue um, these two values here x and 3x their sum has to be 22 so they have to add to 22 so now we have an algebra we have an equation right so we've written our equation here and we can say that 22 so our sum would equal the sum of these two these two these two variables right or these two expressions here so we can say that 22 equals x plus because i'm adding both of them the sum would be 3x plus 2. And that's going to help us solve for x, which would be our first number. And then afterwards, we can solve for our second number. So let's do that. So it says 22 equals x plus 3x plus 2, which is great. What I can do to this, I can first collect my like terms, right? I have 22 equals x plus 3x is 4x plus 2. And then again, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to isolate for the variable, right? I don't like these numbers on the right side. I want to move them to the left to get x alone, right? I like x. So 22, uh, 4x, 22 equals 4x plus 2. I'm going to subtract both sides by 2. So in this case, I will have 22 minus 2 equals 4x. And then plus 2 minus 2, uh, these two cancel out here. 22 minus 2 is 20 equals 4x. And then all I'm left with here, I have to divide both sides by 4, right? Because I have uh, 4 times x here. I'm doing the opposite operation, which is division. So I'm dividing both sides by 4. So 20 divided by 4 is 4x divided by 4. Divided by 4 is simply just x. So in this case, 20 divided by 4 is 5, right? So x equals 5, or 5 equals x in this case. So this here is going to be my first number. So again, I said let x be my first number, right? So I know that for a fact that x here is 5. So x equals 5. And now I have to solve for my second number. What is our second number here? So if I know x equals 5, I can actually just solve uh, solve this the, the second number as well, right? So I can say 3x plus 2. And I know x, I know that and now x equals 5, right? So I can substitute x um, for 5 here. So I can say that 3 times 5, which is my x, 
plus two. It would be my second number, right? Three times five here is 15 plus two. 15 plus here is 17, which means this, my second number here is 17, which will be my answer for this problem here. My two numbers are five, which means therefore, let me write my therefore statement here. Therefore, numbers are five and 17. And let's look at our, our numbers here. Again, our solution here. So it says here, it's given here. I like I like what they, from first statement, we can write the equation shown below, x equals two plus three y. In this case, what they're doing is they're using two equations. I only used one. Uh, this method also works as well, because x plus y, because they're assuming they're two different numbers, which is fine. And what they're doing is they're doing substitution, right? So that works as well. Uh, 22 minus y um, would be, they uh, algebraically, they moved y to the right side here, and they substituted, and then they plugged that in for x here. So this would get you the same answer here. They'll get you y equals 5. In this case, I said x equals 5, which is fine. And they plugged it back into our, the equation to solve for 17 here. So this uh, this is a very, very good solution, except they didn't have the let statement here, So, but it's okay. Um, this solution still gave us our correct answer, perfect solution, and uh, analysis here. And... Uh, I would have liked a let statement to say, oh, let uh, x be the first number, let whatever 3x plus 2 is the second number. But this also, he, uh, they employed, um, this student from Waterloo actually employed this topic of, uh, this concept of substitution. This perfect, perfect is totally fine as well. Totally acceptable. So let me say the solution is correct.